the second point of developing vocabulary with the help of synonyms is noun synonyms there are many words that are nouns and synonyms also here is the group of such synonyms words having same meaning house residence bungalow home shed hut shanty villa and mansion if you hear all these words you can just understand the shape of the structure or you can just imagine the place where generally human being are living house you know residence is the word generally used while giving an address bungalow also having three four bhk construction where people used to live home is also the place where all the members of the family live together shed is a different thing generally we build shed for the cats hut poor people used to build hut with the help of um, grass or other material like this shanty is also um, near to hut villa is a big place there are many bedrooms are there many uh, living rooms are there mansion is also uh, slightly bigger than villa and one word is not here palace where the king or the queen or the princes and princesses are used to live you might have heard about mysore palace if you go there you can see the beauty of that mysore palace i was there for one month during my refresher course so i personally have seen this palace very beautiful palace so palace is also the synonym words of noun where generally the king and all the servants of that king used to be. then another group is solicitor pleader advocate attorney lawyer and counselor solicitor pleader uh, pleader uh, the person who pleads your case solicitor he is also an advocate attorney attorney general, general uh, you might have heard this word related to the court matters and the person who um, plead the cases lawyer is also an advocate counselor is a slightly different word in this group the person who is mentally disturbed needs counsel there are many people who counsel uh, such people they have offices also 
if you want to take counseling from them you can go there and uh, he will he or she will counsel counsel you regarding your problems or regarding your mental or physical health the teacher instructor lecturer professor and master this is one another group of nouns or synonyms teacher is related to school teacher instructor generally used for uh, coach instructor who instructs how to do the things lecture is the post at senior college professor is also a lecturer but there is a uh, different cadres assistant uh, professor associate professor and professor professor is the grade generally in the universities head of the department of university campus are professors master can be any field karate master master in science master in arts school master so all these words are related to different fields master particularly you cannot say that the word is related to teaching profession then shopkeeper grocer merchant trader hawker or vendor all these nouns are related to the things to be sold means all these people used to sell the things in the market shopkeeper has a shop and where he uh, uh, used to sell various kinds of things grocer is related to grocery actually the person who sell grocery merchant the person who uh, uh, takes the material or the things or the um, uh, uh, things from the industry and sell to the people that is the merchant trader basically uh, the things uh, which are uh, related to construction field and the person who sells all this material we can call him as a trader hawker hawker means a person who uh, vends or sells small things on his cart vendor vendor is also a person who vends stamp basically stamp vendor if you go to revenue office you can easily understand uh, what is the meaning of stamp vendor the person who sits there and used to sell the stamps then boy lad chap guy this is another uh, group of nouns boy lad chap guy all these words are used basically uh, we 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 are in friend circle fatigue tiredness inertia boredom exertion 
all these uh, words are related to your mental uh, sense fatigue relates to physical tiredness fatigue is related to physical tiredness while boredom related to mental being if you are bored you are mentally disturbed but you have fatigue you are physically tired or physically tired you can see from a good dictionary that bungalow villa mansion indicates the residence of very rich people while shed hut shanty are residences of very poor people try to learn different connotative meanings of other nouns in the list given above in my le next lecture we will see the synonyms of verbs thank you